and welcome to Saints of the Day on Lumen Christi Television Network. Today being the 23rd day in January, the church remembers Saint Emerentiana. Emerentiana was the foster sister of Saint Agnes and both of them were much the same age when she suffered martyrdom. It happened that Emerentiana was yet only a catechumen. She was still learning about Christianity before she was even officially baptized. And what does it mean to be officially baptized? Catholics believe that martyrs are baptized by blood. And so as they shed their blood for their belief in Christ, in a way they undergo baptism. A martyr is one who dies for his or her faith. And the feast days first arose from the very early Christian custom of having the annual commemoration of martyrs on the dates they die. In essence, dying in this world means being born into heaven. And so, the day a person dies has always been considered more important since it marks a new birth into heaven, into eternal life. It happened that a few days after St. Agnes died, Emerentiana was found weeping and praying by her tomb. The pagans who were so furious at that attacked the little girl, but she refused to leave the place, claiming she was a Christian. As a result, she was stoned to death by the crowd of pagans and her body was buried alongside that of Agnes. The body of St. Agnes lies under the altar of Rome together with that of her milk sister, St. Emerentiano, whom we celebrate today. What can we really learn from St. Agnes and Emerentiana, both young witnesses to the Christian faith. Our reflection continues after the break. to the pagans out of love and fidelity to what Agnes believed in. These two saints bore witness to their faith and it is through their witness of life that many others came to believe and also find salvation. Today, Emerentiana reminds us that as Christians, it is through our works that others will come to see the faith that we have in God. The 21st century world has continued to ask Christians for witness. We have become the gospel they read. I like your Christ, 
but I do not like your Christians is one quote by Mahatma Gandhi that is very popular and more recently I learned of another quote don't tell anyone about Jesus unless you are asked but let your life make them ask you about Jesus I think that is quite a big challenge the disparity we find between who we are in church and who we are outside has become very worrying to what extent therefore are our words supported by our actions why are we totally different persons in church from who we are outside the church why do we separate our daily lives our practices our attitudes from our faith isn't it true that we reserve our honesty our sense of charity our piousness to that very time we gather in church when in actual fact it should be seen when we leave the church when the priest says let us go in peace to proclaim the good news of salvation we have received at the end of mass that is the very beginning of mission that is when our encounter with Christ should bear fruit in the lives of others and so today it is our prayer that through the intercessions of Saints Emerentiana and Agnes we may become true witnesses of the gospel of Christ such that we will be courageous to allow ourselves live out our faith even in the activities of our day-to-day -day life. Amen. Thanks for staying with us. It's been Saints of the Day on Lumen Christi Television Network.